Ponte Vecchio is the famous bridge over the Arno River in Florence, located at the narrowest point of the river, almost opposite the Uffizi Gallery. This bridge has been preserved by history. Time has spared it and people have been gracious. The Ponte Vecchio is the oldest bridge of Florence, for over 700 years, connects the banks of the Arno and adorns this ancient Italian city. The first mention of the bridge at this place of the river is in 996, when the Romans built a wooden bridge here. Later destroyed by flood, the bridge was rebuilt in 1117, but was destroyed again, this time by a flood, in 1333. In 1345 the bridge was rebuilt by the architect Giovanni Villani, who made it entirely of stone. Since then, the Ponte Vecchio bridge has never been destroyed, only suffering several times from floods. It was then that the bridge got its name Ponte Vecchio, which means Old Bridge. At the same time, the bridge became an important element in Florence's defense system, which protected the city from the river. The famous stores, some of the oldest in the world, beloved by tourists today, appeared on the bridge in the early Middle Ages. Originally they belonged to fish and meat merchants who dumped meat and fish waste into the river. Then there were also tanners shops on the bridge, who used water from the river to soak hides, which were then tanned in horse urine. In 1565, Duke Cosimo I built a covered passage that connected Florence's administrative building, today's Uffizi Gallery, to the Pitti Palace which were on opposite sides of the river. The passage was dedicated to the wedding of the Duke's son Francesco with Joan of Austria, and its construction was entrusted to Giorgio Vasari, who was very proud that he was able to complete the project in such a short time. In just five months, the bridge is also interesting because of the houses on its sides, which since the Middle Ages have housed shops. The nature of trade on the bridge changed when the Medici family moved to this part of the city in the second half of the 14th century, soon after the devastating plague in 1348, which caused a significant decline in the city population. In the following century the situation began to change for the better, thanks to the wealth and influence of the Medici, and by the end of the 16th century the butchers' shops which had greatly contributed to the pollution of the river, were gradually replaced by jewelry and art workshops. In 1593 the butchers and delicatessen vendors were expelled from the bridge by the ruler of Florence, Cosimo I de' Medici, Duke of Tuscany, and were replaced by jewelers. Since then, the Ponte Vecchio has had a second name, the Golden Bridge. The butchers and fishmongers were removed as Cosimo I was annoyed by the smells and appearance of their stores, and jewelers' stores were set up in their place, which still exists today. In 1900 a bust of Benvenuto Cellini, one of the greatest Renaissance jewelers, was placed on the bridge. In 1944, the bridge had to be blown up by retreating German units. However, a German general, who was supposed to blow up the bridge, disobeyed orders. The bridge is also famous for the fact that the citizens of Florence near it installed a statue of the god Mars, which was taken out of the baptistry. Near this monument, the Amidi family ambushed the young Blue on Del Monte, who first became engaged to the daughter of the Amidi and then switched to a girl from the Donati family. These families belonged to different political parties in Florence, and this bloody murder was the spark from which grew the flame of war between the Ghibellines and the Gulfs. The Arna River, 240 kilometers long, runs through the various provinces of Tuscany. It is the largest river of the region. In the past Florence often suffered from floods, such as the famous flood of 1966, after which new levees were built on the river, which greatly reduced the risk of flooding of the city. Today, the bridge is characterized by a large number of stores, most of them jewelry shops. However, this is not a novelty. As far back as the Middle Ages, blacksmiths, butchers and tanners placed their workshops here, primarily to serve the soldiers who passed over the bridge. Today, Florence has 10 bridges. Before 1957, there were only six, and they have been rebuilt several times over the centuries. All the bridges, with the exception of the Ponte Vecchio, were reconstructed after World War II.